inside Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Zach Eflin. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. on the inside corner. Got him swinging. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now batting Mike Trout. One out, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle. He gets there on a slide, and it beats him. What a play. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy. Elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Two outs, base is empty. Gets the outside corner with that one. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Angels go quietly there. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And our pitcher tonight, Reed Detmers. What do we have on him? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of it. Now at the plate, Yandy Diaz. Why to kick the pitch? Right through there for a strike. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball oh, game. He powers that one out of here. And the Rays walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. 